would define my community as um, amateur art historians, actually. I think that's probably, there's a, a posse of us in Bristol. We all seem to turn up at the same venues, do the same things. Yeah, I think it's that we are a coherent group. It's always the same faces. I think it's enthusiasm, actually. We are... We're very committed, very enthusiastic about the arts in Bristol and we make a great effort to turn up to things, um, particularly during really bad weather or you know, things that aren't particularly popular maybe, to, to show support maybe to you know, kind of fledgling artists or just groups that maybe aren't the most popular. I think it's this idea that you, you, you want to support the arts in Bristol, whether it be on a very big scale or a very small scale. Do you know, I think one of the biggest things is that quite a lot of us are on limited incomes and sometimes you would really like to attend everything really, but price can be prohibitive sometimes and what would be really nice if, if there was a... You see, the trouble with, with a, a lot of the bigger events is that they have discounts, but they have discounts for things like, you know, students say, or pensions. But quite a lot of us sort of fall within this weird sort of section of the community whereby we're not pensioners, we're not students, but we don't necessarily have the sort of income that would enable us to go to a lot of these events, or even one of these events sometimes. And it would be really, really nice if funding was given to, well, funding, we love it to have individual funding, but perhaps the way it could work is that if certain events could actually have a subsidy that would enable them to bring the prices down. Uh, what I'm not sure about though is would that then be for everybody? I mean, how would you? I, how would I identify myself as part of my community that is of limited means? I mean, this is what I'm not sure about. Then. Would it just? Would you just have to make it accessible to everybody, or would you? Would you have some way of allowing us to identify ourselves by sort of coming along and going, "I am of limited income. Can I have one of the limited?" I, I don't I don't really know I haven't thought that one through but what I do know is that price can be prohibitive for quite a lot of us we just don't fall into any of the normal concessionary categories do you actually think that the the facilities are there um, and the, the the entertainment or the, the kind of the arts are there what actually stops me being able to access some of the things I want to see and a lot of my fellow community members is, is really the, the price. We just we simply can't afford the prices and we don't fall into the concession categories. And so we're sort of stuck waiting for free public events. I mean, it would be absolutely wonderful if the, if the lottery fund could enable more free public events because that's what most of us turn up to.